Our biggest challenge right now is definitely the internet access. Of that 507 square miles, about 60% of that does not have coverage and about 40% of that we do have um, high speed internet access to. Like many rural communities across the country, the coronavirus shutting down school systems has created a unique set of problems to be worked out. Instruction needs to continue in some fashion. But without access to high speed internet. Not everyone can go online and download all the activities or go watch these learning activities that we've made available. So the school system and county government are creating some options starting at all seven schools. So we have identified one to two spots at every location where you can drive up and use the wireless. But it has to be on a device that had already been registered here at the school. The county is also doing a similar project with the Ragsdale Community Center in McKinney, the government complex, and Eastside Community Center. We're providing hotspot locations in those three locations where, where citizens are able to drive up, um, open architecture so they'll be able to immediately be able to connect. The school system also doing a massive mail out. Is a letter that says how learning will continue starting after spring break. We have some other things in the packet as well, like some rec some suggestions for parents of how to talk to your kid during this time. Um, our meal distributions will continue. There's information in there about that as well. The one critical area of concern for the school system and county is they don't want going to a hotspot location to become a source of carpooling with friends and neighbors. They want parents of school aged children to continue social distancing. Working for you, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.